Welcome. In today's video tutorial, we're going to talk about how to autofill dates in Excel. You'll see how Excel can quickly create a series of dates of any length with no tedious typing needed on your site. Getting curious? Join us now. Hello, and welcome to EasyClick Academy. My name's Frank, and together with our EasyClick team, we're here to make sure you'll be able to use Excel in a quick and easy way thanks to our digestible video tutorials. To create a series of dates of any length automatically, first, we need to type in the very first day of the series into the cell where we want the series to start, which means that in cell B3, we enter, let's say, 4 17 2028. It's important to keep in mind that various countries use different date formats. For example, in the United States, the preferred format is month, day, year. Of course, we can easily change the date format in Excel. You can find more on this topic in the video How to Change Date Format in Excel the Simplest Way. The link to this tutorial is in the description below. Here, we'll work with the American date format, so we'll keep the current settings. As soon as we've entered the first date, we click on the cell that stores the date, and up here in the Home tab, we'll find the section Editing, where we look for the Fill button. And there, we select Series. A window pops up where we can define specifically what the series of dates should look like. In the field Series In, we can specify whether we want the series to run in rows or columns. We want to have the dates running one below another, so we'll select Columns. Since we want a series of dates, we need to select Dates in the next field, Type. It's important to make sure the correct type's been chosen. If we don't select Date, we won't be able to set Date Unit in the field on the right. Once we've selected Date, we can move on to select Date Unit. Through this option, we can define whether we want the series to run by days, in which case we go for day, or to show working days only, which is weekday here. We can also go by month or year. Here, we want to have a series of dates showing day by day, so we keep the option Day and move on. Down here, we can set the step value. To show every day, we need to enter 1. To show every other day, there needs to be the value 2. Every third day, we've got to type in 3. Now, we keep the step value 1, and we'll move on to have a look at the last option. Stop value defines the limit of the series, which is the date when our series of dates will end we need to enter the date format we're using in the series. So here, we'll type in 4 25 2028. Now, we just press OK, and that's all it takes. The series of dates appears in the column day by day up to the 25th of April 2028, just as we want it. This way, you can create a series of dates of any length with no need of tediously typing the dates out one by one. If you found this tutorial helpful, give us a like and watch another video tutorial by EasyClick Academy. Learn how to use Excel in a quick and easy way. Is this your first time on EasyClick? We'll be more than happy to welcome you in our online community. Hit that subscribe button and join the EasyClickers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.